Simply defined, temperature is a measurement of the intensity of heat. Intensity is an important adjective to use when defining temperature. We are all familiar with things feeling hot or cold, but those terms are subjective and based solely on one's perception of the intensity. When talking about temperature and heat, I like to uh, talk about coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. Um, everyone knows a good cup of coffee is served hot, um, but does it have a lot of heat? Well, that's a relative question. So I like to compare my cup of coffee to let's say the Pacific Ocean. If we're going to the ocean right now and we want to jump in, we probably need a, a wetsuit. Um, that's because the temperature of the ocean or the intensity of the heat is much lower than this cup of coffee. If I were just to stick my fingers into this coffee, it would, they would become burned. However, in terms of total heat, the Pacific Ocean has far more heat than this small cup of coffee. So temperature is relative, it's the intensity of the heat, um, irregardless of how much uh, mass we have. Whereas heat is the total, uh, the total quantity that we can um, calculate. So that's how, that's how I like to describe uh, the difference between temperature and heat to someone. Temperature is measured using a thermometer. In the United States, we use degrees Fahrenheit to measure heat, whereas other countries use degrees Celsius. In the Fahrenheit scale, water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees. Worded another way, the intensity of heat in water must be 212 degrees to cause steam to form. In the Celsius scale, on the other hand, water freezes at 0 degrees and boils at 100 degrees. The equation to convert from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit is degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths degrees Celsius plus 32. The equation can be rearranged using algebra to convert from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Let's use the equations to solve a problem. All right, in this example, we're gonna convert 30 degrees Celsius into degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the equation, do the conversions written on uh, the whiteboard already, and so we just need to plug in our 30 degrees Fahrenheit, our 30 degrees Celsius in the equation. So 9 over 5 times 30 plus 32. On your calculator, if you grab a calculator, you can just go 9 divided by 5 times 30 plus 32. And we find that our answer is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So 30 degrees Celsius equals 86 degrees Fahrenheit. For most temperatures that we interact with on Earth, the Fahrenheit temperature will be a larger number than the equivalent Celsius temperature. As an interesting fact, the Fahrenheit and Celsius scales are equivalent at negative 40 degrees. When the temperature drops below negative 40 degrees, the Celsius scale has higher values than the Fahrenheit scale. Both the Fahrenheit and Celsius scales are relative temperature scales, meaning that they do not measure from absolute zero. Both scales, however, have a counterpart unit that is measured from absolute zero. To convert to our absolute temperature scales is pretty straightforward. If you wanna go from uh, Fahrenheit to degrees Rankine, you simply add 459.67. Similarly, if you need it, uh, convert from degrees Celsius into Kelvin, the absolute scale in the metric system, you need to add 273.15. The Rankine and Kelvin scales are not commonly used in everyday life, but are required for certain scientific calculations. All right, in this example, we're asked to convert 40 degrees Fahrenheit into Rankine. So we're just going to simply plug 40 into our equation here. So degrees Rankine will equal 40 plus 459.67. Probably don't even need a calculator for this one. Um, your answer is 499.67 degrees ranking. All right, say we have water and it changes temperature from 60 degrees down to 40 degrees. Uh, the change in temperature of this is obviously uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, right? 60 minus 40 equals 20. I want to point out though, if we were to use the Rankine scale, then that would be 519.67 degrees Rankine minus 499.67 degrees Rankine, which also equals 
20 degrees ranking. So when you're dealing with a, a delta T, it doesn't matter whether you do whether you work in Fahrenheit or ranking, because you'll arrive at the exact same answer.